Beside Mowgli, George of the Jungle, or Tarzan, only a few people ever survived the jungle. That's because the jungle is filled with more wilder things than large anaconda snakes and scarred tigers. But do you know what's even more unbelievable? It's the strange things people found when they go on an exploration. From an old lady's fairy tale shoe house to an old fig tree with upward roots, here are 20 strange things found in jungles. Sigeria and the lush green jungles of Sri Lanka, hidden amongst the towering trees and creeping vines, lies a discovery unlike anything the world has seen. In 1831, a British soldier named Jonathan Forbes was traveling through the lush forest when he came across an immense bulging rock that rose above the treetops. Perched atop this granite mountain was a structure that seemed impossible, the remnants of an ancient palace. Forbes made his way up the sheer sides of the rock to get a closer look. Carved into the stone face was a monumental gateway modeled after a lion, with massive paws and steps leading upwards. Above this entryway were scattered blocks and foundations that hinted at sprawling halls and courtyards that must have once stood proudly. Through his exploration, Forbes pieced together clues about the past inhabitants of this unusual place. Known as Sigeria, or Lion Rock, it was revealed to be the 5th century creation of a mad king who conquered his father's throne through patricide. Fearing retaliation, he constructed the city as both the grand palace and formidable fortress high above the forest floor. Over the centuries, historians and archaeologists continued returning to uncover more of its hidden secrets. They found ancient graffiti on enormous polished walls and fragments of ethereal frescoes depicting long-lost beauties. The dense vegetation had reclaimed the citadel for over a thousand years, keeping it shrouded from the outside world. This place stands as one of the most breathtaking archaeological sites ever found, a true marvel lost and then rediscovered in the unlikely settings of Sri Lanka's green shroud. Fasten your seatbelts because it's time for today's sweet topic. Before now, there's always been news of scientists finding new things all over the world. But this one might actually be the greatest of all time because scientists have just found an untouched civilization in the Amazon jungle. But this is not just an ordinary untouched civilization because these villagers, or should we say these jungle people, look nothing like people. With their unusually large heads and skinny, long limbs, this civilization looks as though they're not from Earth. The woman in the middle of these creatures could be said to be the scientist, but since there's no record of who she really is, she could be their leader for all we know. And if this is anything like the movies or your TV, she could be their queen bee, gifted with the ability to control the creature's every move. What do you think this is? Do you think scientists have uncovered what could be the end of the human world? Or do you think this woman is the scientist and has won the hearts of these creatures, forming a human-alien alliance. Lost Stonehead Michael Roberts Powell couldn't believe his eyes as he brushed away vines from the immense stone face. He had gotten lost hiking through sugarcane fields near Santa Lucia in Guatemala when a chance encounter changed everything. Lost and seeking direction, Michael approached a lone cane cutter. Pointing the way out, the man saw Michael's interest and offered to show him the El Ball ruins. Intrigued, Michael agreed to follow. At El Ball, among crumbling walls, the worker led Michael to an incredible discovery, a massive stone head half buried in the dirt. When he asked about its significance, the man spoke solemnly of its sacred history with the people. The man explained how the head had connected their people to the mighty Pipple kings who had ruled the land over 1400 years ago. Even today, descendants still revere it, making offerings to appease ancient gods. Gazing upon the blackened wax-covered face, Michael realized he had stumbled upon a profoundly meaningful sight. Through traditional rituals, the heritage lived on for generations after their civilization vanished. Descendants still came to pray, burning incense, alcohol, or sacrificing chickens in allegiance to enduring spirits dwelling in this hallowed ground. Michael was awestruck by this rediscovered relic and the mystical hold it seemed to have over the people. It was a discovery that would stay with him forever, linking him to this sacred place and the enduring spirits sheltered there. Hidden German Hideout It was a sweltering afternoon as Daniel hacked through the dense Argentine jungle. 
After days of searching, he was losing hope of finding anything remotely interesting in this remote wilderness. Suddenly, the trees broke to a small clearing. He froze at the sight ahead, crumbling stone structures emerging from the dense vines and foliage. But it was the faint symbol etched into one weathered rock that made his blood run cold. A swastika. Daniel, an archaeologist from the University of Buenos Aires, could hardly believe what he was seeing. What was a Nazi sign doing all the way out here? He raced to gather his team to begin excavating. Over the following weeks, discoveries began piling up. German coins and porcelain fragments all bearing the unmistakable Hitler sign. It became clear this was no ordinary ruin. The dense jungle in proximity to Paraguay's border suggested it had been carefully chosen. A secret bolt hole if defeat came. He was convinced he had stumbled on a dark chapter of history a covert Nazi plot to build remote shelters for when their regime fell. But it also promised to expose deeper layers of Argentina's own shadowy past, sheltering wanted men after the war. To prove his unsettling theory, he knew there was still much work to do. If he could just secure more funding, perhaps he could finally uncover the full buried truth of what really happened in this long forgotten corner of the Argentine jungle, the abandoned shoe house. This quirky and mysterious home was discovered on the Isle of Wight in England. Known as the Fairy Tale Boot House for its unusual boot like shape, it was built in the 1950s to literally take the fairy tale there was an old lady who lived in a shoe to heart. The locals would tell tales of mysterious noises and lights coming from the strange home late at night. When nearing the end of her life, there was a grandmother who moved into the odd home to live out her final days. One stormy evening, children from the village swore they saw the silhouette of the old woman dancing on the roof, laughing madly into the rain. After she passed away, the owner turned it into a playhouse for local children to enjoy. However, it's since fallen into disrepair. The boot-shaped house now sits abandoned and overgrown, hidden away and difficult to access within the landscape. Rumor has it that on foggy mornings, the ghost of the old lady can still be seen peering out mischievously from one of the empty window frames. Photos online show the severity of its deterioration over the decades without maintenance. The exterior is completely engulfed by thick vegetation, and the structure appears dilapidated. Comments from those who have seen images of its current state express hopes that it could someday be preserved or restored before nature reclaims it entirely. But for now, the fairy tale boot house remains a crumbling fairy tale trapped in a state of neglect, its story slowly being retold by vines and weeds. Lost City of El Morador For centuries, a forgotten city lay hidden deep in the Guatemalan jungle. Only howler monkeys knew of the towering temples rising from the treetops. Early explorers caught fleeting glimpses of earthen mounds amid the dense rainforest, but soon disappeared back into the foliage. It wasn't until intrepid pilots spotted massive plazas and pyramids from above in the 1950s. In the 1970s, archaeologists Richard Hansen and Ray Matheny were determined to reach what they witnessed from the sky. Strapping into a small plane, they scouted immense stepped structures bursting through the canopy. Galvanized, Hansen rallied sponsors to launch an expedition. In 1979, he led a team hacking through the constricting jungle with machetes. Slowly, temples far greater than any previously known emerged from view. As more was cut away week after week, Palaces and broad plazas spanning a colossal ruined city spilled into the open. Through grit and machete work, Hansen had at last unlocked the secrets of this civilization that bold modern scholars. After centuries undiscovered, the jungle could no longer conceal the mysterious city and its untold legacy as the mighty early capital of the Maya. Hansen has found the lost world and would share its revelations with the outside world. Ancient UFO Satellite images have captured what seems to be an enormous unidentified object concealed deep within the Amazon rainforest. UFO investigator Tyler from Secure Team 10 analyzed the images and was perplexed by bizarre details. The anomaly appeared cigar-shaped with illuminated orbs protruding from it. Despite being partly hidden by trees, its massive scale was clear when compared to the surrounding natural environment. But unusually, the object did not blend in with the dense forest surroundings. It was located miles from any civilization in Brazil, an area with a history of unusual UFO sightings and discoveries predating the current jungle. However, Brazilian experts were skeptical that something so large could have avoided detection 
within the closely monitored Amazon region for so long. Upon further examination, Tyler and other analysts found no evidence it represented any known aircraft, structure, or weather phenomenon. Its illumination and isolated location seemed anomalous. With the forest floor impossible to scan remotely, uncertainty remains about what lies beneath the concealing tree canopy. If proven to be an alien spacecraft, it could significantly change scientific understanding. For now, the anomaly's true nature remains obscure, confined within the depths of the vast and wild Amazon rainforest. Only further research may reveal the source and purpose of this mysterious finding. Mysterious Amazon Rings Nestled in the Bolivian Amazon, signs of ancient people dotted the landscape. Intrigued by these mysterious earthworks, researcher John Carson set out on a quest to unravel their secrets. As he extracted sediment cores from remote jungle lakes near the structures, he knew the tiny clues preserved in the mud held stories of past cultures and vanished forests waiting to be discovered. The structures themselves were an impressive feat, a vast network of ditches up to 16 feet deep crisscrossing the dense tropical forest. But what purpose did they serve the early inhabitants of this remote frontier? Were they defensive works to ward off intruders? Part of a grand drainage system to harness seasonal floods? Carson was determined to find answers by peeking into hidden worlds never before seen. Back in his lab, Carson placed the cores under his microscope, transporting himself across centuries as layers of pollen and ash drifted by. Gradually, a dramatic picture emerged of how the landscape transformed over millennia. Massive burning paved the way for maize fields while shaping forests. Through continuous observation of these miniature time capsules, Carson gained newfound respect for the ingenuity of early societies in adapting to and modifying their environment long before present times. His discoveries offered a rare window into dynamic historical relationships between people and nature in one of the planet's most biodiverse yet mysterious regions. Maracoxi Sasquatches Rumors persist of mysterious humanoid creatures inhabiting the dense jungles of South America known as Maracoxi. Reports of sightings come from various regions across the continent. One hot spot for their activity is claimed to be the thick jungle of Mato Grosso, Brazil. Eyewitnesses provide descriptions of the creatures averaging 2 to 6 feet tall but occasionally over 12 feet. They're reportedly extremely hairy all over. While appearing ape-like, they've purportedly been seen walking upright on two legs. In 1914, explorer Colonel Percival Fawcett claimed encountering a group during an expedition. He said they appeared primitive yet demonstrated bow and arrow hunting. The colonel described their communication as grunts and screams. Fawcett's mysterious 1925 disappearance searching for a lost city in Brazil has led some to speculate he was ambushed. Cryptozoologists investigate if they represent unknown South American ape species like the elusive Deloise ape. Indigenous reports of isolated human tribes in the region have also fueled debate about the true identity of these legendary forest dwellers. To this day, the jungle guards secrets of the possible existence of the ape-like Maracoxi. Sentinel Island An arrow pierced the chest of the sailor as he stood transfixed on the shore, the first warning shot fired by the inhabitants of the mysterious island. The first documented encounter with the Sentinelese tribe occurred in 1867, when the crew of the merchant ship which had run around on a reef near North Sentinel Island made it ashore. They were soon met by a group of hostile natives armed with iron-tipped arrows. Despite attempting to ward them off, the tribe drove the outsiders away. It wasn't until 1880 that the British naval officer Morris Vidal Portman led an expedition and spotted clusters of Sentinelese from afar. Upon venturing inland, they found a village with lean-to huts, smoldering fires, and simple tools, evidence of a primitive lifestyle. Attempts at contact were met with volleys of arrows. Over the next century, encounters remained perilous. Helicopters and boats bringing gifts elicited spears and arrows. Finally, in 1991, an anthropologist managed a peaceful exchange of coconuts with the wary tribe. Today, their lifestyle remains untouched. Brief interactions offer a window into their culture and it's maintained complete isolation for millennia on their remote island. While representing a fascinating glimpse of the past, the Sinhalese above all demonstrate a fierce determination to preserve their autonomy and way of life in their ancestral homeland according to their own terms. Maya Cities Hidden in the dense jungles of northern Guatemala lay centuries-old secrets, secrets of an enigmatic civilization that once flourished in this land but had long vanished from record. 
A team of researchers was convinced that with the latest and groundbreaking technology, they may finally be able to penetrate the heavy forest canopy and glimpse what lay concealed below. And so they embarked on their mission, equipped with a revolutionary tool known as LIDAR. Flying over the massive expanse of tangled rainforest, the researchers' lasers intently scanned the landscape. As data began flowing in, staggering discoveries started emerging on their monitors. Spread across 2,000 square kilometers were traces of over 61,000 structures. The magnitude startled the team. Defensive walls, fortresses, and citadels spoke of a heavily militarized society. Vast roadways and trade routes connected towns and cities that once bustled with millions of Maya citizens in the civilization's height between 650 to 800 CE. Palaces and temples offered clues to the hierarchies and complex governing bodies that administered vast territories. For the first time ever, the full scale of this pre-Columbian powerhouse was abundantly clear. Where scholars once believed the Maya small and isolated, they peeled back centuries of concealment to unveil an achievement on par with other great ancient cultures. Finally, the intricate society that engineered such marvels was laid bare for the world to witness. Mega City among the dense rainforests of Cambodia, secrets of long-vanished cities remained hidden for centuries. LIDAR technology was peeling back the shroud of vegetation to unveil sprawling metropolises that once dominated this landscape. Archaeologists Patrick Roberts and Damian Evans were using these new images to revolutionize their understanding of urbanization in Southeast Asia and the rise and fall of the magnificent Khmer Empire. What the detailed scans revealed was evidence of cities far more expansive than any historian had imagined. Integrated within the meticulously designed boundaries of Angkor and its predecessors like Sambor Prekuk, LIDAR picked up traces of intricate irrigation systems, vast farm zones, and entire neighborhoods absorbed in the urban fabric. Scholars like Anna Lee Newts pointed to an even deeper history one of humans deliberately cultivating these tropical forests for over 45,000 years. Through controlled burns in early agriculture, settlers transformed the environments to their needs. The Khmer Empire brought these traditions to new heights, sustaining close to a million people. But some centuries later, floods, unrest, and decay emptied the cities as completely as the devouring jungle would soon reclaim the ruins. Determined to reconstruct the rise and fall of these lost metropolises, Roberts and Evans poured over the wealth of discoveries unlocked by technology, unearthing fresh revelations about them and their innovative city-building achievements. Creepy Abandoned Hotel This hotel sure upped the whole treehouse thing. Sporting a Tarzan room 110 feet up a tree, buildings on stilts and plenty of the local nature to gawk at from every room, this treehouse is taking it to another level. With catwalks and docks to get from building to building, and the tour area, a balanced foot is a requirement if you don't want to fall on your face everywhere you go, but worth every penny with rare sights of exotic life. Monkeys, dolphins, and hundreds of bird species are just out of hand's reach. It's like taking a nap in the zoo. Canoes are made available for all and is a common way to explore the forest and river. The branching tendril of water is part of the Amazon River. Catwalks weave like a web through hundreds of tree canopies. There are swimming pools too, so nasty bites from piranha can be avoided from river swimming, and even observation towers that stretch a whopping 134 feet above the tree canopies. The hotel's history reports that the idea for its construction came from a man named Jacques Cousteau when he met the hotel's founder on a trip in the area. The structural idea was inspired by the techniques used by natives in the area for building homes on the edge of rivers. It first opened in 1985 with only one building in operation. It grew from there. Zombie Fungus The humid jungle air was thick as they walked slowly through the dense foliage. As a mycologist searching for undiscovered fungi, they spent most days trekking through areas like this one in southern China, eyes peering closely at trees, plants, and fallen logs. On this day, a small movement in the distance caught their eye. Moving closer, they saw what appeared to be a caterpillar climbing slowly up the trunk of a large oak tree. But something looked strange. The caterpillar seemed stiff, and its color was off. Crouching down, they pulled out their field microscope and observed the unusual creature more closely. To their amazement, emerging from the back of the caterpillar was a fungus, light tan in color with long filaments spreading outwards. They had never seen anything like it before. They carefully collected a sample in a tube to take back to the lab for analysis. Under the microscope, they saw that the fungus had invaded and replaced the tissues of the caterpillar, 
while once producing fruiting bodies with spores. After consulting textbooks and conferring with other mycologists, they concluded they had discovered an entirely new species of parasitic fungi. Weeks of further study revealed this fungus, which they named Cordyceps militaris, was specialized to infect one type of caterpillar. Its ingenious life cycle used the host insect to produce and disperse spores to new victims. Their find provided exciting new insights into the jungle's diverse fungi kingdom and their complex relationships with other organisms. Their discovery would go on to inspire further research worldwide. Stairs to Nowhere Hidden away in the Chesterfield Forest, a strange sight loomed among the towering pines, a crumbling stone staircase ascending to nowhere. Local rumors whispered of ghostly echoes drifting through the dark woods at the site, but few knew its history. Intrigued, a hiker parked at the Madame Sherry Forest trailhead and set off down the winding path. Ruined walls and arched openings emerged through the dense greenery, topped by a grand staircase leading upward but ending abruptly in trees. Climbing the mossy steps yielded only more forest. Where did it truly go? Inquiring in town, an old-timer revealed the stairs' remarkable past. In the early 1900s, wealthy designer Madame Sherry had visited a friend nearby and fallen in love with the wilderness beauty. She purchased hundreds of acres and meticulously built her lavish dream home within the forest, including the impressive staircase. For years, Madame Sherry hosted elite parties beneath the stately walls, but after her passing, the secluded structure crumbled without care. A devastating 1960s fire left the staircase as one of the only remnants of what was once an architectural marvel concealed within the dense woodland. To this day, those ancient steps seem to beckon visitors, eternally guarding the secrets of a past grandeur that once stood atop the forested ridge, but now lingers only as a mystery among the towering pines. Bigfoot It was a cool autumn night when Josh ventured into the remote Mississippi woods to hunt wild hogs. As darkness fell, he camouflaged against a tree to wait silently. His friend Tommy had dared him to stay out past midnight, promising to buy drinks if he proved it with photos of any nocturnal wildlife. After a while, Josh heard noises behind the thick truck. Thinking it was hogs, he peered around and froze in terror. Not only had he forgotten his camera, but the sight before him was certainly no ordinary wild hog. Only 50 yards away stood an enormous, hairy, bipedal figure digging furiously with clawed hands at a fallen tree stump. It was over seven feet tall and let out a low grunt that sounded like nothing Josh had heard from a human. Paralyzed, Josh fumbled for his phone and started recording as the creature stood towering above the stump. Just then, a truck rumbled on the nearby road. Startled into motion, the massive figure fled with alarming speed into the dense undergrowth. Josh would have to tell Tommy to put that drink money towards a new pair of underwear after this encounter. Panicked, Josh also ran until reaching his vehicle breathless and shocked by what he had witnessed in the dark forest, but he had video evidence of the undeniably real encounter. To this day, Josh swears the footage captures the legendary Bigfoot itself in the Mississippi swampland. While skeptics doubt, the chilling night left him utterly convinced that the mysterious creatures do exist deep in the wilderness. Armed with this shaky phone recording, Josh may have documented the first proof of Bigfoot's existence. Stone's Fears it was the early 1930s when the workers first came upon the strange objects hidden in the dense jungles of the Dickies Valley. The United Fruit Company had sent crews to clear the land for a new banana plantation, hacking away at the thick foliage with machetes. After weeks of hard labor and cutting down trees and slashing through vines, they began to notice peculiar formations emerging from the undergrowth. Juan Martinez was one of the first to spot one a large, perfectly round boulder partially buried in the soil. At first, he thought it was a trick of the light, but he moved closer and saw it was unnaturally smooth. Calling over his fellow workers, they gathered around in amazement. None had seen anything like it before in all their years in the Costa Rican jungle. Word quickly spread of the mysterious stone balls through the work camps. More of the spheres soon turned up as the clearing continued. They ranged vastly in size, from small orbs and could fit in two hands to colossal balls over seven feet wide. The company manager was baffled by the discovery and sent word to the local authorities. Academics from the capital rushed to the remote valley to investigate. Careful measurements and analysis of the stones left all perplexed. Their near-perfect sphericity and polished surfaces suggested intentional crafting. Yet by whom and for what purpose? 
wild theories generated among the workers. Perhaps they were tools of the lost city of Atlantis or messages from heavenly beings. The true history remained as much a mystery as when they were first pulled from the green veil of the rainforest. To this day, the ancient stone spheres still keep many of their secrets hidden beneath the jungles of Costa Rica. Thousands of ancient rock paintings. Confined within the Colombian Amazon, archaeologist Jose pushed through dense jungle, determined to unravel the region's prehistory. For years, he envisioned discovering early human remains in the rainforest. Leading his expedition team, he hacked away foliage each arduous day. Nearing their destination, anticipation swelled within him. Then, faint markings caught his eye on sandstone rock, sweeping away debris unveiled stunning cave art, images of a lost world over 12,000 years past, depictions of extinct giant creatures mingled with local fauna alongside geometric patterns and handprints. He uncovered a remarkable historical treasure, ancient rock art offering a glimpse into humankind's emergence in the primeval forest. Further excavation brought incredible scenes into clear focus, images of giant sloths, mammoths as well as snakes and birds. Carbon dating precisely dated the artwork between 11,800-12,600 years ago, identifying the creatures as among the earliest inhabitants of western Amazonia in the last ice age ended. Depictions of hunting practices and rituals offered insights into how these pioneering people lived and their spiritual beliefs in such an unforgiving landscape. As more panels emerged showing daily life, he recognized the magnitude of the discovery. This represented South America's most significant cache of ancient cave paintings. Though anonymous, the vivid artworks illuminated people's deep roots in the Amazon thousands of years ago. His ambitious expedition had unearthed exceptionally preserved artifacts illuminating the earliest settlements on the continent and captivating the world with long-buried secrets of the region's prehistory. His dream discovery revealed a past few imagined existed within the Amazon wilderness. The strangler fig, the dense jungle simmered under a sweltering sun. All was seemingly still amidst the lush foliage, yet hidden movements were underway. High in the canopy, strangler fig seeds lay waiting, the triggers for strange cycles of life and death. As animals passed unknowingly above, dropping these tiny passengers amidst branches, the fig's fates were sealed. Now the stealthy strangulation would begin, the first small roots straining skywards before twisting relentlessly downwards, aiming to envelope unsuspecting hosts in a suffocating grip. Sending roots downwards that thickened into woody strands, they snaked towards soil below. Within the trunk caverns of old strangler fig giants, animals built homes and raised families. The figs stood as forest giants, providing food and shelter during scarcity. Their intricate root systems formed vibrant patches of green in the jungle's depths. Undisturbed for centuries, strangler figs kept shrouded secrets within the tropical forest. Their mysterious life cycles continued, hidden high among towering trees. Rafa Nordi Tucked away in the rainforest of Southeast Asia lies an elusive natural wonder. After heavy rains, a peculiar odor begins to permeate the dense jungle, a smell some compared to rotting flesh. This pungent scent serves to attract insects far and wide. Embedded within the tangled mass of vines below the forest canopy, an unthinkably large bloom emerges. Rafflesia, the world's largest flower, has opened once more. Its colossal red blooms can span over a meter wide. As a parasitic plant with no chlorophyll, these plants derive all its nutrients and water solely from the vines it attaches to through embedded tissue. Despite this, it grows to an immense size each year. Flies drawn in by the carrion-like stench unwittingly pollinate the plant as they feed on its nectar and visit its male and female sex organs. Occasionally glimpsing this bizarre rainforest giant in person is a rare treat. As it hangs on the verge of extinction due to habitat loss, catching a display unfolding deep in the protected jungle provides lasting appreciation for the tenacious wonders of nature. It magnificently is morbid and will likely remain an elusive sight for years to come. Amazon Stonehenge It was a scorching day in the Amazon rainforest when hunter Lyson Camello stumbled upon an incredible discovery. Chasing a boar through the dense jungle foliage, they punched aside a thick stand of bamboo and stopped in its tracks. Before him stood a perfect stone circle, its huge granite boulders arranged with careful precision. Intrigued, Lyson kept closer for a better look. The stones clearly showed signs of human design, their smoothed surfaces worn by centuries. 
he walked the wide perimeter, counting an immense 127 blocks in total. In the center sat a clearing, the ground oddly bare. He explored this patch of rainforest for decades, but never saw anything like this. Tales from the local people spoke of ancient sacred sites, yet none mentioned a structure of this scale, compelled to unravel its mystery. He returned often, keeping the circle's existence secret save to a trusted few. In the 90s, he brought in an investigator. Their excavations at the site, now called Rego Grande or Amazon Stonehenge, uncovered clues that challenged assumptions about the sophistication of these jungle people long ago. With this new archaeological discovery, a new chapter was set to begin in the hidden history of Brazil's mysterious Amazon rainforest.